Grayston Bakery bakes around five tons of chocolate brownies a day. Most of them are mixed into ice cream that's sold all over the world. In the process, Grayston changes lives. It hires people from the community who find getting a job tough, like Dion Drew, who spent time in prison for selling drugs. When I um, got incarcerated in 2004, I wound up doing four years in the state penitentiary. I came home in 2008 and just decided enough was enough. And my mom's getting older. I want to start a family of my own. So that's the track that I went on. It was kind of hard because I didn't really know what direction to go. I just had a plan, but I didn't know where to go. Dion finally found a job at Grayston after other companies refused to hire him because of his criminal background. He's worked here for three years and has a wife and baby daughter. He says he will not go back to his old ways. I was illegal since I was a teenager. Now to be legal and working on credit, bank accounts and stuff like that means a lot. I feel like I'm a part of like society now. Before I didn't feel like that. Stephen Brown is president of the Grayston Foundation, a development group that uses small businesses to help the community. The bakery has a very unique hiring practice. We hire people regardless of their background, regardless of their experience, on a first come, first place, or first serve basis. We call it open hiring. Somebody walks into the door, they sign up, and when we need more staff, we invite them for an orientation, and then we hire them based on their place on the list. Scores of people work here. Some stay only briefly, but others for decades. What we find is we're able to hire people who other companies would not give a chance to. So we have people who are formerly homeless, people who are formerly incarcerated, people who are formerly substance abuse issues, and we're willing to hire them um, where other companies wouldn't, wouldn't allow them to get the first base. Brown's business is helping the community, and he says the brownies taste all the better for it. Sayla Hennessy for VOA News, New York.